this is a really hard video to make. So I wanted to apologize. I'm really, really sorry because I'm about to look so fierce. This is Mad Anne with mad love for her mad depths because we're all reflections of each other. Do you have an apology coming up? Be your double you. But what you need to do is if you have an apology coming up, do it right. Everyone just wants to wipe their face off and look like they're just like so contrite and it's just like, <sighs> I'm so sad. Look, no one's gonna believe that trash if you don't look fabulous, okay? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make you look fabulous for your next apology. All you need to do is put on a crap ton of stuff on your eyes because you wanna make sure those tears stand out. If you're really sorry, sometimes you just have a lot of makeup on. So watch this. Also, contour that face. You want that face to be so sharp that that apology really cuts through to people. It's gotta cut through. First things up, cover up any blemishes because that is distracting. Nobody needs to see that when you're saying, I'm sorry, you know what I'm saying? So just cover that up. Obviously, if you need to use foundation, put that crap all over your face. This has gotta look good. I'm gonna put some stuff under my eyes because I wanna make sure that stands out. Okay. There's a chance I'm gonna look really pale with the stuff on my face. That's fine, you want the light to catch you. Beat that face, because you want those tears to be real, so. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Ow, it hurts, it hurts! Okay, you covered, now you gotta contour. If it seems like a lot, just keep going. Just make sure you don't turn your head, otherwise that's gonna look real weird. Okay, are we feeling it? If it looks a little cakey, it's okay. The moisture from your tears will fix that. Now blush. Some people don't like blush, but in this case, you might wanna use a lot of it because you wanna look flushed, like you've been upset. Now you don't just get flushed on your cheeks. You get flushed in a lot of places. Flushed. Now you also wanna make sure that you have a good highlighter on, something really sparkly, if you have something sparkly, because you're gonna need those tears to, to be embedded in just a pillow of sparkle, because then it'll really gleam. Tears. Don't worry, I'll blend it out. Again, don't forget that Cupid's bow. Make sure you blend it, you don't want it to look too obvious. <laughs> I mean, my goodness. Mm -hmm. Now, we gotta worry about our eyes. That is the main focus here. Everyone is gonna be looking at them to see if you got tears coming out. So you know what you gotta do? Play them up. Make them look super upset and reddish, but like, also like you look amazing. You know, you don't want it to look like like you need sleep. You just need it to look like, hi, I'm fabulous, but I'm also really sad. What I'm doing is I'm using a pink color on my eyes, but don't go nuts because that pink will actually go nuts. You want it to look like you're a little sad, right? Just keep it fierce. Go underneath. You need something underneath to drag those tears across. Do it. Got a little on my nose. <laughs> oh well, that'll just draw attention to this part of my face. That's where the tears are gonna be. Now to deepen the corners of this pink color, I'm going to need to go for a darker color. <laughs> going for this dark purple color to just deepen the, the corners. We don't want it to look completely like we've been crying all day. We have a life, but we want people to know. We're really sad about this. Now, if anyone is saying my lighting is crap, I'm good lighting is not necessary with apology a video because otherwise it looks like you were setting that thing up for a while and you're like, I'm planning this apology instead of being like, I'm just actually sorry. I mean, you're planning this, but still you want it to look like you weren't planning, right? Seriously, like I have to explain everything all the time. Now for these inner corners, you want them to really stand out too because that's where the tears are gonna gather. So they need to 
have a little sparkle. What you do is you take a nice, light, white, bright color, you do this, I'm not even gonna do that. Take something like that, sparkly, and you pop it in the corner, pop. Now, if you're thinking to yourself too, what about my eyebrows? I don't know what to do with those. You just have to make them look sad. They don't really look sad, but that's okay. That's okay. That's quite all right. Now you want to make sure you're wearing mascara that is not waterproof. If it's waterproof and it doesn't leave some nice trails, what is the point of even crying in your video? Put on extra. Don't bother with falsies because you're just going to have to rip them off later because you're just going to get them all soaked from your fake, I mean your real tears. Oops. I got some on my eyebrow, but you know what? That just means that I was just, this is a rush job. I was so upset that I rushed putting on my makeup. Whatever, just go with it. I know if you're apologizing during the day, you might be thinking to yourself, well, shouldn't I use white eyeliner? No. White eyeliner does not do what you need it to do. You need it to smudge. You go for black whatever time of day it is. I don't care what your face looks like. You better put something on that's gonna show up when you cry. I'm just saying. Now with eyeliner, don't just put it in your waterline, put it under too. You really want that smudge. I know, I'm looking so fierce. Perfect for an apology, right? First we need some lip stuff. Because this is a sad moment, you should go for a somber color. Don't go black, it's too fashionable. Perfect. Now all you need to do, look all sad and stuff, and, and, Him in the kitchen. Water. If you're having a really hard time crying, just try and be slick about it and do this. Get your fingers wet if you can't cry yourself. I haven't had an emotional day today, so I'm really sorry. Perfect. <sighs> now you can really be sorry, but look fabulous at the same time. Right? Don't I look great? So that's all you gotta do. Take notes, have a great day, and a fantastic apology. Mad love to my mad dubs, be a W, and uh, don't do anything to cause an apology to happen in the first place. <laughs> Sorry, out of character, what was that? That's so weird. Have a great day, bye.